Hola, Madridistas. Can you hear me? Let's see. Hope we get more people in here. The game is about to start in around 15 minutes, so we still have some time. Um, as I s Mm. Hola, Hassan. How you doing? The usual squad. doing good today looking forward to this game um same but i'm feeling a bit feverish i just uh, came back from a trip and right only now it hit me my immune system needs a reset but uh, as for this game i've just been checking um mallorca's a uh, recent uh, game tally and um, all of their games are with one goal maximum you know one nil or one one nil nil one nil they just lost to uh, Bilbao 
with the weekend painful that might affect them um last game that we played against them in february was also one nil so we will have probably a difficult time getting through them all of the games are one nil uh even with barcelona they just lost the uh, one nil so we'll see um Uh, so many people are getting ill now even internationally yeah i don't know if i caught something or what it is i feel like it's just my immune system i've been through a lot of <laughs> um what up dog is uh remember jose lu had to come in after today i hope Farouk is ready i'm saying the same believe and it will happen jose lu <laughs> it will be six nil with jose lu hadrick well i hope so but uh, like i said yeah that we play m most of the games uh one 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 nil or nil nil it's uh actually impressive you know from them but the the some of the players are playing with an injury Lata is injured, um, that dude, um, what's his name? Well, yeah, one of the, one of these dudes, that, 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 that. I just read his name. Dani Rodriguez. Anyway, uh, so the left side is playing with an injury, which could be uh, very, very nice for us. But then, what do we see on the left side of our <laughs> of our lineup? It's Bellingham playing uh, a left winger? Question mark? What is that? Uh, Ancelotti chose uh, to rest Vini and Rodrigo interesting choice but then again we are playing city next uh, then barcelona so understandable i doubt that he uh, he will not bring them on uh, at all but uh, as for the lineup as we see it right now it is very interesting and i love when this happens which means it will be entertaining Jose Lu and Diaz uh Modric Chouameni Valverde Valverde has been playing a lot and I'm surprised he's also not rested he could use it uh Mendy Rudiger Nacho who's back uh Vasquez instead of Carvajal and Lunin um It's great that uh, some of our players will get some rest because we have quite a few very uh, difficult matches coming up. And yeah, it's, it's good that this game came right now. Perfect timing. Um, Fran should have started today many needs to rest uh i agree would be a good game you know to rest even more of our players but uh we still need to grab three points so let's play smart as well we are eight, eight points ahead but that means nothing you know until we win we're not still winners you know we we're not winners yet, I mean. This is Feather's 44th game in a row. That's insane. That's just insane. That's not... that. That's not okay. It's unnecessary to play him right now. I hope he gets a... Um, substitute at, at halftime. 
It's unnecessary to play him now. If we can rest the uh, Vinicius and Rodrigo Cruz, we can afford rest in uh, Valverde. We, we also have Camavinga. Why is he not playing? Camavinga should be playing instead of Valverde. He had an injury scare two games uh, and he's just been thrown back in. Who is Valverde? I didn't even... I didn't know he had an... An injury scare. When did it happen? I'm very, very surprised that uh, Kamavinga is not playing. Instead of Alverde. Yeah, the game in the purple kit, he came off injured. I don't remember that. But nevertheless, he should not be playing right now. He should be Kamavinga. Honestly, honestly. You, you said it all, man. Lack of rotation is seriously baffling. Valverde especially. Why is he playing? Probably brought up by the fact that Mallorca away is always tricky. Yeah, like I've been saying, last time we only won 1-0 and Mallorca has been playing many 1-0 games lately, or 0-0. They will be fine with the draw, so they will probably just, you know, park it. It won't be easy. Thank you, Sanae. Thank you. The game is about to start. Incredible atmosphere at the at the stadium, I have to say. Moriki is going to give Nacho a good tester before Haaland, uh, he better be ready. Nacho better be ready in general. The, the, he better be ready. This uh, l Lately, you know, he's, everyone knows he's been atrocious. We don't even have to say it. So we need a good performance from him anyway.
So the game is about to start in a second now. And the game has started. Okay. Good thing I have to kick that back to the morning. Interesting start to the game. Well, it's safe. Uh, I'm wondering what the gameplay for this game is like what actually like uh, what the strategy here will, will be or are we just gonna vibe through it mainly trying to run off with the ball I'm not sure is it Oh, it's been called a, a foul, a free kick for us. Modric is gonna take it. <laughs> Vibe is the way, it's the only way at this point. Ooh. The ball falls back to Brahim. Mendy in Hasley, <laughs> drink it in, drink it in. Oh, Bellingham will wins the ball for us. So many. Still so many. Nacho, the road again. Modric lost the ball, but Mallorca tried to run with it too fast and it's gonna be a throwing for us. We see Militao on the bench. He looks ready. I think uh, at some point in the second half, he's probably gonna, he's probably gonna see some minutes. Brahim stole the ball. It's gonna be a, a free kick for Madrid. In a very nice position. Let's see if we can capitalize on this one. City will beat you then hard at the Etihad. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Nothing is uh, done yet. 
be ready for some magic. Brahim always providing the imp. Demon, demon, save it for Manchester, mate. Honestly, come back for the watch along on Wednesday, though. Valverde passes it to Jose Lu, but uh, that was a bad pass back. It's a tournament for Mallorca. Modric makes a foul. Can Nacho track it back? Nacho didn't really do well with this one. Also didn't stop the cross, but thankfully Rodiger saved our asses. That shouldn't happen. That should not happen. If Haaland was on the other side, It's as if uh, we only want to take care of the attacks after the cross has happened. <laughs> Let's get it, vamos. Yeah. Three points. Three points. Modric clears the cross. Rakovic kicks it all the way back to Lunin. It's our ball. Nacho. Chamani. Brahim, beautiful, keeps running, keeps running, he's still running, but he has, ah, uh, he lost the ball, he didn't see where it went, he stayed behind them, I think, what, what happened, let's see, uh, yeah, he didn't even know where the ball went, I love the way they pronounce his name, Reykjavik. <laughs> Reykjavik. So many. Ah, beautiful little flick from Modric, but Kosalu didn't even try to receive that pass. Didn't even try. Ready, guys?
Do I mean? Come on. I don't. I don't see any vision really with this game. It's vibes, just like we said. I think the the strategy is just we we'll score when we score, when it happens. We are mostly playing this game around the center line. But then again, Mallorca is parking it. Like we expected, and like I said. They're gonna defend this nil nil with their lives. Just like they did with. Barcelona but one goal is all we need like in February Pass from Jude Vasquez. It's gonna get foul. Free kick in front of the box. That's a very nice position. It is a foul. It's a very soft, but it's a foul. I'll take it though. I'll take it. Nice position. <clears throat> I'm gonna take it. See if it's gonna be Valverde or Modric. Who's it gonna be? Straight into the wall. <laughs> Chuamedi with a rocket into the stands. That was a very poor free kick for Modric. Straight into the wall. That was not good at all. Fouled by Mendy on the foul. Oof. They kicked each other with, it, with their heads. Not a foul. I, I thought it would be a foul. Roman A pretty boring game so far 
ni da tim really has any strategy in their attack. Mallorca doesn't want to lose, uh, lose the draw. They are fine with this. So their defense is uh, basically a barricade at this point. But at the same time, we knew they were, they were going to play like this. And we didn't really bring our best attack today. Oh, I don't think I missed the ball. But Vasquez saved him. What was that? Well done by Jude. That should be a foul. That's a yellow card. Yeah, that should be a yellow card. He tried to give advantage, but yeah, that's a yellow card. Uh, Rayo got a yellow card this early in, in the game. This could be really good. It's a yellow card. No doubt about it. That was a very poor... Freaky. That was very poor and unnecessary. Rajkovic kicks it long. But we win the ball back. Vasquez. That's amazing to keep the ball in. Back to Lunin. Jude all the way back to Rudiger. Like I said, it, it's been really difficult to move the to move from the center line. All of my orcas players are in the defense. And it's very congested back there. We'll see how we're gonna make make this happen. Good ball to Valverde can Modric. Ah, uh, almost got the beautifully done by Nacho. We win the ball back. That was finally something happening, you know, from Real Madrid. Finally. But still, we—I don't think I even have to say it. This, we don't look dangerous, so ooh, you know, <laughs> at this point. But with the lineup that we're playing, you know, I'm not surprised. But we do not need Vinio Rodrigo to pick an injury now, so it's understandable. Well done, Mother the wins the ball for us. Jude runs with the ball. Brahim is on the left side. Oh. He almost lost the ball, but 
man the cover for him. Our attacks are very slow, very slow this game. I'm not sure we can really probe, you know, the defense. It's gonna be a foul from Bellingham on Morales. What did he even do? Oh, he hit him with his hand. It is what it is. We will call it too. Paolo and Valverde, beautiful. We are far superior to Mallorca, I see a comfortable uh, day at the office uh, to win when I had. Well, I hope so. But I don't really see a 2 0 happening. Uh, more so a 1 0 win. Two goals at most. But I don't see a, a thrashing, you know, happening. They're, they're currently playing like a 5 4 1. And yeah, I don't see how we're gonna really <laughs> destroy, you know, that defense. But one goal is all we need. Modric wins the ball back, gives it to Vasquez, but Mayoka clears it. Ball is still there for Modric, he tries to cross it in, but it's been cleared by Mallorca, it's a throw-in. Nacho to Mendy. Okay, we, we're doing better, we're shaking them up a little bit. We're showing at least a little more dominance now. But mm, Modric tries to win the foul there, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. The ball is back for Rajkovic. Shawmany wins the ball back beautifully. But loses the ball. Pantalan. Ball is back to Mallorca. He did well there, but he should have let the ball to someone else. The ball, yeah, the ball is right now. It's a throwing from Madrid. Oh, 
Paolo Mendy. Magari ću take it. John Mendy to Rudiger. Lunin. It's safe, it's safe. Mental fossil look and we keep the ball. No, no, I'll cover it. <laughs> the ball is back to Lunin. What a slow ass game. As expected though, I mean. Rafael wins the ball for Mallorca. Keep lo losing the ball in the stupidest way. Nacho clears that. And it's out, out Robin Budson. Honestly, Mallorca's attacks have been uh, more dangerous than ours, which is saying something. Just saying a lot. We're not playing our A team, which is, you know, it's fine. And of course, we shouldn't be playing it. But uh, you would expect, you, you know, Madrid, who's currently, you know, first on the first in the standings against someone that's 15th to play a bit better, you know. And it's fine, I mean, we we are playing Joselu and Brahim in the attack, it's fine. But still, we need these three points. And I would rather, you know, us score first and then take everyone off the pitch, honestly. How can you get Militao match fit if he doesn't play full 90 minutes? I can't wait for us to fire him. He has no clue how to manage player minutes. <laughs> uh, I don't agree with the last part. That we should fire him. But... Uh, But as for Militao, 90 minutes, I don't see it going that bad, you know. It, it, if he gets injured, you know, he will get injured anyway. If he plays 40 minutes or something like that in the... Uh, 30 minutes or something like that in the second half. The, the point is, uh, Militao has to play anyway, so might as well play him the full game, you know. But do we really expect him to start against City? Do we? I don't. If only, um, if only he got better at least like a week be before you know than he did now that would have been uh then he would have been match fit you know for manchester city but like this i don't know especially like like you said he's not playing the full 90 minutes and good morning to you too it's evening here 7 p.m Mallorca is trying to cross the ball into our box. We looked a bit shaky, but it's going to be a corner. Nothing will happen with that. Rajkovic was playing with the ball a little too much there. 
Ej, Jose Logata da je nja. Heather from Mallorca, a beautiful save from Lunin. Really saved our ass there. And like I said, Mallorca has been closer to, to scoring the goal than we are. Great save from Lunin. It went through the legs of a Mallorca player and he still saw where it's gonna hit. Lunin catches that ball, but he has n no one to pass to, st to start a faster attack, so Nacho, Togo de Gag, slowly again. We're just vibing, we're just vibing in there. Yeah, quite disappointing Militao and Agra Gulag ain't starting the game, but as uh, long as they get some good minutes in, I'm alright. For Militao, he has to get some minutes. Even if it's not the full 19 minutes, you know, at, at least something in the second half, he needs to get that. Because he will probably play against City at some point. Especially knowing Ancelotti and how fast he brings the players back. Uh, but for Gulag, um, we don't de depend on him, really. So, again, I would understand if, I, if Ancelotti, again, doesn't put him in. Well done by Chouameni. Passes to Jude. Ooh, Jude hits the crossbar. What a shot by Jude Bellingham. Beautiful shot from Bellingham, but it, but it hits the crossbar. The ball is still for us. Bad pass from Valverde. Throw in for Mallorca. That's just unfortunate. That's just unfortunate. <laughs> What a shot from Bellingham. Ball is from... Ball is for Brahim, but... Mm, he couldn't keep the ball. Samu Costa runs with the ball. Can we but Valverde does well to... To clear that. Valverde is everywhere. Everywhere. And like someone said, 44 games on the road that he's been playing. And still has the energy to do that. Men's insane. Loco. <clears throat> All right. Corner from for Mallorca. Pretty poor corner, but the ball is all the way back for Ikovic. Who kicks it long? Proven from Mallorca. Marcel is probably gonna throw it all the way in into the box. Uh, 
Moliči. Kamerki. I'm sorry, a lot is happening. Um, we didn't have any control <laughs> with that attack. Zero control. But like I said, we're just vibing at this point. But Brahim wins the ball for us. That's going to be a foul on Brahim. Maybe even a yellow? Is it yellow? No yellow. That's some wrestling. Some WWE. Someone will get a red card this game, I'm telling you. For my old class team. Paolo and Jude Bellingham. Lucas Vasquez. Well, back there to Modric. He can reach it. Too many cross to the box. Cleared by Mallorca. Rahim wins the ball again. All right game from Brahim so far. Jose Lu tried to play the a little one two with Valverde, but that's not gonna happen. No chance. Are we able to win the ball back fast? Not really. Auto. into the box Mi mm, mistake by L Lunin but held by Mendy he catches the ball that, that was a mistake by Lunin he didn't kick the ball out he missed it didn't catch it oof that was unnecessary but thankfully Mendy helped him out Oof. Interesting. Uh, Girona lost to At At Atletico today, three one. I didn't want to watch the game. I haven't had a chance to. Penalty by Griezmann, the thirty fourth. Goal by Griezmann in the fiftieth, and a goal in the stoppage time, of first half by Correa. And Dubovic. Uh, Girona. Which they still haven't overtaken Girona for third place. Girona is still 
ahead by four points. But they're closing the gap. That was, that was an important game for both of them. But still, Girona is pretty much safe for a top four this season. I don't see Bilbao uh, getting nine points or ten ahead of them for the, until the rest of the season. So they're pretty much safe for the top four. But it's more so just pride, you know. And also they are only two points away from Barcelona, so why not? Uh, and uh, Rahim tries to get the, he couldn't win that ball, but uh, Mallorca stops it from being a corner and it's a throwing for, for Real Madrid. Valverde. So many. Modric back to Rudiger. Nacho. That's a foul on too many. Yeah, like the commentators also said, we we really need uh, Vinicius or Ro Rodrigo to do something about this. It is a, it is what it is. Like it's a it's a difficult game. They're playing the five for one basically. They're parking it as much as they can, and we need some creativity up there. I'm afraid. Joselu and Brahim are just not enough. Modric. Modric dances with, <laughs> with a defender there, but it's a throw in at the end. Well, back to Nacho. Beautiful way to win the ball back and lose it immediately. I'm not sure if we can make anything happen in this first half. We're gonna need to substitute uh, some players. We need Vinicius, we need Rodrigo, someone, you know, to help us out up there. This is just not enough. <laughs> this ref never liked them. Uh, well, just one of them once. Yeah, he's been uh, refereeing La Liga for a while now. He's one of those refs that just looks very smug. Bellingham. Mendy. Running on to Rudiger. Rudiger just kicks it all the way to Mallorca's defense. But we win it back. Too many. Vasquez. 
crosses into the box, but it's not. Well, it's back to Rajkovic and the referee calls for half time. Uneventful first half, very boring first half, just as I expected it to be. What happened? Nothing happened. <laughs> Just like we expected it to be. Uh, we'll see in the second half, you know, can we get that one goal uh, for three points? Basically, all I expect from this game. Okay, right, um, gonna play you the Android now. Back. Margaritas, uh, I'm back once again to remind you guys that we partnered up with Manscaped and uh, if you want to help and support this project and this little family of ours, uh, be sure to check out Manscaped and use code LBR20 at checkout for 20% off and free shipping. So 2024 is in full swing, we're already a month in and if you had any New Year's resolutions to look better, you know, feel better, uh, I have a company called Manscaped. They're trusted by more than 10 million men worldwide and if you want to take a positive step you know in a good direction this year uh start with yourself and manscaped asked us to introduce you guys to the new lawnmower piper ultra uh it's a hair trimmer you know for your sensitive bits uh it features skin safe technology you know to keep your sensitive bits safe it has an led bright it's waterproof you can use it in the shower you get two extra heads uh, blade heads to uh, go either full smooth or a normal blade head um, if you want to go all in you can get the whole package you get a nose trimmer you get crop preserver it's a ball deodorant uh, you get some aftershave and in the box you also get some boxers and a bag you know to keep all of those things in um so yeah if you're interested go to uh, manscape.com use code lbr20 to get 20 percent off at checkout uh and free shipping that's lbr20 to get 20 percent off uh and free shipping at manscape.com and thank you guys uh and back to the video If we play this way, we will lose. Uh, you're saying a true brother. <laughs> I don't think we will lose, but nil nil doesn't sound uh, like a stretch. But we just need that one goal, you know, and that's enough. But uh, I understand why he's resting Vinicius and Rodrigo, and that's amazing. That's beautiful. But we are gonna need them probably in the, in the second half, so they are probably gonna be substituted on one of them at, at least, because we are gonna need some reinforcement in, in the in the attack. It's not surprising, you know, that um, we can't really make anything happen. Um, I mean, we are playing with. Hosselu and Brahim up top, come on. That's, come on. <laughs> I'm not sure what we expected. And Mallorca is playing a 5-0-1. What do you expect it to do again, against that? And also, yeah, Jude... If, if he had scored that, which was a beautiful shot by Jude Bellingham, it was a crossbar. But if that went in, you know, we would be breathing a lot easier and 
again, I will say it again. Uh, Camavinga should be substituted on for Valverde. There is no reason for Valverde to be playing right now. Zero. If you're gonna substitute on um um or if you think of uh Vinicius and Rodrigo to rest them there's no reason for Valverde to be playing either. He's been playing the most out of all players. Every single game he's been playing. I hope he's the first player to come off now. Sixty two percent possession, only one chance. One chance in the whole half against Mallorca. One chance. You prefer Arda and Militao to be substitutes. I know you want Arda to play already. Um, to be realistic, he's probably not going to be playing against C City or Barcelona or Sociedad after that. So I don't really see a point in that, but uh, any chance uh, to see him play the season, I'm all for it. So yeah, uh, I hope I also hope he plays. But for Militao, yeah, that's a must. He needs to play. If Ancelotti is, wants to play uh, for the City game or for 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 Clasico, he needs to play tonight as soon as possible, and hopefully we see a lot of substitutes happen at half time already we'll see after that uh, after the game there's a uh, Cadiz and Barcelona if anyone is watching that we'll see if they can get a draw out of that Keep it a nil nil or a one one. Let's go, cut it. One of the most let lethargic halves uh, of our season. We we have to take off Jude and Father ASAP. I agree <laughs> completely. That it it makes me mad. This lineup honestly makes me mad, especially for Valverde. Why is he playing? 
I'm sure someone will ask Ancelotti after this game why did he play Valverde so we'll see what he says until then you know we can only we can only guess you know what's going on in his head Gula could have easily started today. I don't get it. When have we ever known what Ancelotti is going to do? Or why he does things? He just does things. Because he's Ancelotti. <laughs> Basically how he goes. He just does things. The way he wants. and uh, It is what it is. I mean, it wins us things. Can we really complain? If we win this game somehow, I don't know how. <laughs> we have nothing to say. It, it, it's, it's three points. But Gula should be playing. That said, he's still probably not going to play the next few games anyway. Because we have very, very difficult next few games. And I doubt that we really need guler for that if he hasn't been playing the rest of the season and he's not match ready or you know at least ready for city and barcelona and sociedad but we'll see we'll see i'm just hoping that he made at, at least a few Substitute now at 45 or at half time. But the fact that he's playing Valverde just actually like, just makes me mad. Like, actually, just makes me mad. <laughs> I have nothing to say about that. There's, there's no um, excuse for it. Is Kamavinga maybe on uh, for it? Is that the reason? Could that, could that be the reason that Kamavinga is not playing? And we don't want him to 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 get a fist before El Clasico. Could that be it? Someone could check. My opinion is we don't play with courage. Uh, when was the last time you saw a Madrid player take on another pl player? I'm tired of the one-two passing. I watched City play to today and they were flowing. We haven't been flowing in a while. <laughs> we haven't been flowing in a while. And especially with this season when we had uh, Vinicius injured for a long time. It really slowed down our team. And Ro Rodrigo is great or not, but uh, again, this season he he hasn't been his old self. He's kind of picking up, you know, again, but uh, we'll see if it'll be, if it, if it'll be enough. You know.
But at least, you know, I'm happy with Brahim and what he's done this season. We kind of got Brahim and lost uh, Rodrigo, the way I see it. But at least Brahim is left-footed. Apart from Guller, I missed the time we had De Maria and Isco. Uh, you could see dribbling and not all these passes. Well, that time is long gone. That time is long gone. And the game is a bit different the, these days. Oh, Kamavinga is coming on. Rodrigo is coming on. Vinicius is coming on. Yeah. That needed to happen. That that needs to happen. Because we still need these three points. Great from... Who, who was that? I think Jude won that ball, but uh, so many made a really poor pass. He didn't even look where he was passing to. I I, I used to absolutely love Di Maria. He, in fact, won us La Decima. Oh, Jude running with the, the ball, takes a shot. Rajkovic saves it though. That's cleared, but we win the ball back. Oof. All right, finally something happening with the something happening with the team. Oh, I forgot to change to start the. What's on? Start. Let me just sync up the. All right. Beautiful. The ball is crossed to Jude coming. Chuameni takes a shot. What a goal from Chuameni! Out of nowhere, he just booted that ball. <laughs> it got deflected a little bit, but what a shot from Juameni. Well done from Juameni. Out of nowhere, but we, we really needed that. Long shot. I'm sure it got deflected. It looked like it got deflected. Yeah, it did. Rakovic had no chance of saving that. He didn't even lift his feet off the ground. Too many for one nil. Wow, I agree, Di Maria won, won us that UCL. Chuameni will win us this one, right? 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 Finger guns. <laughs> I'm actually like really, really not nervous for Wednesday. Like, it, like, I feel it in my stomach, you know. Oof. I was listening to the commentator. The dangerous play from 
Mallorca sort of knocking it around in a box. We couldn't get any control over it, but thankfully someone cl cleared it out for a throw in. So after, so apparently after um, Chamini scored, fans were throwing bottles or something on the pitch and Rudiger, someone else went to talk to them, to the fans. And then the manager of Mallorca got angry that they did that. <laughs> Brahim is running with the ball, running with the ball. Has no one to pass to yet. Passes it to Modric, but ooh, we almost lost that ball. But Chouameni keeps it for us, and it's going to be a foul on Chouameni. He, he was pulled by the shirt, I think, before that. Oh, we tried to play the free kick quickly, but we just lost the ball. That's just unfortunate. All right, well, at least we can relax now. At least we can relax now. Because I wouldn't have been surprised if this ended in nil-nil, like at all. No. <laughs> We can breathe a little easier now. This changes things a lot for Mallorca. So far, they were, they were parking the bus like crazy. It took a long shot from Chouameni to actually do anything to them. Because just passing around that was, uh, was an impossible mission. But now that we are one goal ahead, we can already see Mallorca playing a bit more open. A little bit, but they're still... They're still very, very closed off. I like that. Couldn't control the ball, loses it. What a goal, uh, sending Militao now. Any second now, any minute. Watching from the USA. Oh, you're from USA? Where from? Throwing for Mallorca in our half. Where I'm watching from? I'm watching from Croatia. Vasquez runs with the ball, no one to pass to, has to pass it back to Valverde. Wonderful goal, uh, but it, le it leaves me a bit of taste in my mouth since uh, he isn't available on Wednesday. Yeah, it's painful. It's very painful. We are really gonna need him. Oh, Brahim does amazing to oh does a amazing to dribble around the the player takes a shot, but it's straight into Rajkovic. Possible handball, but I I think his hand was on the on the grass, so it won't count. But the ball is back to Rajkovic. Yeah, we are really gonna need Chouameni and it's the worst time for him to not be able to to play. Oh, Mallorca 
try to pull that counter here, but we want the ball back. Askes tries to pass it long, but falls back to him. Passes to Jude, it's gonna be a throw in for Madrid. You're Danish. Oh, nice. Croatia is a beautiful country. I agree, it is. I recommend you guys visit everyone. There's many things to see in Croatia. We got it all. Modric to Jude. Jude. Brahim, Brahim. Was to pass to Jude to, to Husserlo, but couldn't make it through the two Mallorca players. Ball is all the way back for Mandy. Is that a throw in for Madrid? I'm not sure. Just before this, he shot straight into Rajkovic. Straight into him. Just like Rodrigo has been doing lately. Constantly shooting into goalkeepers. What is Hosolo doing on the field? Uh, nice to see the Madridista family. Hosolo is playing because neither Vinicius nor Rodrigo are, are playing. I guess he's resting them. Not now that we scored, you know. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if Ancelotti don't bring them on at all. Alverde made a foul on Lato. <laughs> he sold that. He really sold that. First substitution of the game, but it is for Mallorca, not for Madrid. Oh, I love his mustache. The commentator said uh, Madrid has conceded 20 La Liga goals this season Ooh. this season and seven of them were by Real Ma Madrid players or former Real Madrid players Vasquez with Valverde Back to Vasquez. Ooh, he tried to love the goalkeeper, but oof. The goalkeeper got it, but it wouldn't have been a goal anyway, I don't think. It didn't curl the right way. Oof, that's a... a oof. What a block by Nacho. That was horrible. 
absolutely atrocious defending by Madrid. I think it was Lato, I'm not sure. Completely alone. Nacho blocks the ball, but uh, still, that, that could have been a goal. That could have been a, a, a clear goal. Modric, Modric to Brahim. Is he going to walk the ball and he didn't? Oh my god. Modric could have taken the shot there. He passed to Brahim and he didn't. Jeez. He passed to brahim he tried to walk the ball in and he he can't believe it i can't believe it that how did he not get that how how did he not score that how did he not score that insane <laughs> Modric looked absolutely pissed. <laughs> there was steam coming out of his ears. Do I mean it to Jude? Can he keep the ball? That's is that a foul or a handball, my marker? Vinicius is coming on. Interesting. I guess he... I guess he wants to be ready for the game. On Wednesday. Odega tries to reach Jose Lude, but uh, that's impossible. You know what I find interesting? No one is asking for Ceballos. No one is asking for Ceballos. Camavinga is coming on as well. Interesting. So he's not on four yellows. I thought he was. Brahim is coming off. Uh, oh. Vinicius is met with with some booze. Bellingham is coming off for Kamavinga. Why is Valverde not coming off? What is going on? Why is Kamavinga? Why is uh, Valverde still on? Someone explain that. Incredible. I'm gonna win the ball from this throw in, but where they still on on the play Rajkovic to Lato. Come on, Inga fouls. Valverde makes a very poor pass to Josalu. I don't know how he expected him to win to get to that ball. Fouled by Mendy or Ma Mafeo, I think. They just ran into each other. How is that? <laughs> Mafeo, oh my god. Did a uh, freaking. Headstand. What is that? We can see that Militao is not even getting warmed up yet. It's minute 65 now.
Ooh, dangerous cross into our box on the free kick, but thankfully the ball will be for Lunin. Let's see what happened. Nacho kind of missed the ball there, but the Mallorca player missed anyway. But not a great uh, clearance from from Nacho. But Nacho now does well to win the ball back. Chomeni, Modric, Vinicius. Let's see what he's gonna do. Vinny. Oh. He crossed it across the goal, but there was no one there to just tap it in. Shame. Draw many to Kamavinga. Look at the game. Back to Kamavinga. More luggage. Mendy to Vini. Takes a shot, it's straight into Rajkovic. But takes a shot. We can already see um, some action as soon as he kicked, as, as soon as he came on. Ancelotti is a bum. Come on, I don't. Don't be saying that. If we win the Champions League this season again, and La Liga as we are supposed to be winning, how can you see that he's a bum? I don't want to jinx it, but we should, we're for sure winning the La Liga. It's a foul on Camavinga. All of Mallorca's team is protesting it, and the fans. We need to Modric. Modric runs with the ball, passes to Jose Lu. Passes back to Modric. Vasquez. He loses the ball inside the box. But can Kamavinga win it back? The ball is still in play. Beautiful from Kamavinga. Vinicius will take a shot, but it will be deflected for a corner. <laughs> Let's see how Kamavinga yeah, kept the ball. It was right in front of the referee. There's no reason for them to protest it. Corner will be taken by Modric. Corner was too short. It's cleared by Mallorca. But we're still in the attack, and Germany tried to take another shot. We lose the ball. But that that's enough for Mallorca to have a little counter-attack, but Mogechi had nothing to do. It's a throw for Madrid. Basically, the analysis of this game is uh, just vibes. Just vibes. <laughs> we do as we want. As we feel like, you know. Kama and Vinny brought on the... Uh, oomph. <laughs> We've been missing. Yeah, the oomph. I agree. The oomph is here now. And we needed that oomph.
čo meni to Vinicius. Da, that, that's uh, straight on tackle from Mallorca. There's no reason for Vinicius to protest that. And there's uh, no reason for him to do it in general, you know. And in this game, I feel like the referee has been fair. We can definitely score another goal. Definitely. Beautiful, Madrid. Paulo Vinicius is going to be taken fast by Modric. Valverde, but he slows it down. Chamene to Vinicius. Vinicius will go around him. Take a shot. Take a shot. Valverde, can you take a shot? No way. No way. That actually got saved. He had all the time in the world. That actually got saved. But the ball... The ball is still for us. Can, can we still take a shot? The ball is just scrambling around players. No one can control it. Modric to Mendy. No way. No way we didn't score from this. First the the Brahim one. Now, now this. Come on. Those were three. Those were two uh, free goals. Vinicius takes a shot. It's deflected, and Rajkovic saves it. Look at this from Vinicius. Well, Vega does well to trick the goalkeeper, but the shot was not high enough, and it gets blocked. I think by Rajkovic again. By the, by the goalkeeper. Modric intercepts the ball, but Mendy has to clear that far, far away. Ball is for Mallorca. Who are not playing, you know, 5 4 1 anymore. They been forced to open up at least a little bit and we can finally see you know some football happening because when they play like that you know we will oh oh my my heart dropped for a second Rui went for a half volley what a save from Lunin that was a really good save from Lunin. It'll be a corner for Mallorca, but that would have been a goal if Lunin didn't save it. Damn. I don't know where. Overhead kick attempt by a, a, a Mallorca player. Handball by Gonzalez. I can't believe that we didn't score from this. First from Brahim's attempt and then from Valverde. <clears throat> yeah, we have to kill this game up. I think that was offside. That looked offside by Mariki. It is offside, yeah. It took him a second to to call it 
an offside but yeah that was clearly offside yeah So we're, we're playing a very high line. <laughs> you can see Camavinga, Vinicius and Rodrigo celebrating the test line. Metromini scored. And she was miscontrolled that. But ever since he's come on, you know, the team has looked a lot more lively. That unnecessary fault from Vinicius, he's, been, he's trying to apologize. There are no substitutions from uh, Ancelotti. How are we not taking our chances? Honestly, it should be, it should have been three nil by now. First that uh, Modric to uh, Brahim and now Vinicius and Valverde, like two clear goals, and it's still one nil. Tony, Tony Cruz, Carvajal, and Militao are women up. So finally, we get we get to see Militao come on, and I guess it's just gonna be for the last ten minutes, which is just sad. Come on, we need him, and I don't understand if if Ancelotti has any plans of playing. Militao against City, 10 minutes is just not enough. After being injured for so long, it's not like he was out for, you know, for like two weeks, so you give him 10 minutes. He's been out for months. That's insane. And we're playing the quarter final, the second leg like, against City, and then El Clasico, and then Sociedad. Like, oof. What is he thinking? Also, he's putting on who? Carvajal for Vasquez, which is unnecessary. We're doing fine like this. I mean, fine, in quotation marks. And uh, cross from Modric into the bar. Gajkovic punches that out. And uh, that's a foul from Germany. He doesn't think it is, but hmm. he touched the ball, but could still be considered a foul. 
na surely he can play against City. I agree, especially if he if he's only playing ten minutes now, if that. But knowing Ancelotti and how, oh that that was a head by Mogichi by is way wide, way 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 wide. We're safe. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, surprised if Ancelotti puts on the tower at some point against City. But I don't know. I just feel like a, a giant, you know, um, ball of hair in my neck. You know, when when I think of uh, Wednesday, that will be a foul on Kamavinga. Mallorca is protesting that, but uh, they were trying to hold him pretty high. Yeah, and he was holding him for, the, for his shirt. 15 fouls committed by Mallorca to 5 fouls by Madrid. Ratio, then. Let's see, a free kick taken by Madrid. Again, it will be Valverde and Modric. Let's see if Modric will go for another shot. The first one wasn't that great. It was straight into the ball. And let's see what he has in his locker. Crosses it into Hosselu. He manages to get to the ball but uh, it'll be saved by Rajkovic long ball <laughs> all the way uh, to Radonic I think his name is but Mende did well to <laughs> to actually see, see him out uh, we are judging by what I have seen, uh, we are nice knowing you guys next season. I hope we get chubby. Don't be like that. Like I, like I said, even in the group chat, whine about it when we lose. But until then, there's no point, you know, crying about it. We'll see what happens. And it, it just, it looks gross, you know, when I see fans of this club crying like that we're better than that come on come on Doris uh, are you doing a, a watch along for the city game I'm doing a watch along for every game for the rest of the season I didn't do the last two because I was in England and I had a, no way of doing them from there but I'm back now oof very dangerous cross to Mariki, but uh, we're safe. No one got to it. But yeah, I'm back now, so yeah, watch alongs are happening for every game for the rest of the season. Especially the Champions League games. So yeah, come back on uh, on Wednesday for that. Someone Lunin <laughs> Lunin has picked up a yellow card for time we for time wasting. Unnecessary, it's so unnecessary, but but okay. Okay. <laughs> Nacho can be absolute uh, uh, immense when starting in a big match, but when he plays consistently, uh, we see his in insufficiency. That being said, he should have been benched to today and start a match against City. And who would you have been playing against uh, instead of Nacho 
today and he can be Militao because I, I don't think we're gonna see him at all. Yep, he's not coming on. It's Carvajal only. It's minute 85. We are in the 86th minute. And Carvajal is coming on for Modric. Not the Verde, it's Modric. Wow. But the fans of Mallorca are giving him a standing ovation. Respect. Is the is this Modric? Oh, get something light. Modric, this is my idol. Modric, so my too. It was in creation. It meant, uh, Luca, you're my idol. Can I have your shirt, please? I wish it was that easy. I wish it was that easy. Nacho was fighting off there for the ball. It's going to be a throwing for Mallorca, another throwing for Mallorca. We just need to control the game until it ends. We only have five minutes left, five to seven minutes left, I think. Cross into the box by Mallorca. The ball is still for Mallorca. Not cleared very well. Mm. Vinicius almost got got to the ball. Unfortunate. Mallorca is still on the attack with this. We just need to get to the end of the game safely with no mistakes. Beautiful from Mendy. Beautiful. Wins the ball for us. Kamavinga will try to pass it to Vinicius. The ball is still for Jose Lu. Can he get to it? Is it going to be offside? Yeah, it is offside. Vinicius was offside and he knew it. And the handball, yeah. Yeah, Jose Lu hasn't done anything this game but lose the ball. It's all he did in this game. He just keeps losing the ball. Poor pass after poor pass after poor pass. Not that this was particularly, you know, his fault. Vinicius should have done better to get on side faster. And Militao is finally coming on in the 89th minute. 89th minute. We finally see him. Or 90th minute, in the 90th minute. Coming on for Lucas Vasquez. I can't believe this. <clears throat> All right, throwing for Mamayorka. Let's see if we can fend off the, probably the last attack of the game. We'll see how much time gets added on. It'll be a foul on Nacho. Nacho goes down holding his head. It'll take some time. <laughs> 
he will take his sweet time now. Well, it still would have been a. Uh, it still wouldn't have been a, a corner, so there's no point in being that angry about it. I love that guy's mustache. It's amazing. What did I say, guys? He doesn't know how to manage player times. True? He doesn't. No one is saying he does. Wow, long come on, An uneventful game, but uh, last thing, last thing we need uh, is someone to get injured. Uh, right before the next few matches that we have lined up, the last thing we need. Vinicius tried to win a free kick there, but it's a trophy for Mallorca. Can we the one back? Can we win the ball back? It's gonna be a, mi a mistake from Mallorca, but Rajkovic manages to control the ball, passes it along to. Not sure for him to. Kick it out. Okay. Another mistake from Mallorca. Germany has time to to pick up a pass here. He still runs with the ball. He wanted to get a free kick there, but it's just a throw in. But it's okay, we get to take our time here. But a minute and a half of the game left to play, a bit less. Mistake from, big mistake from Mallorca. Vinicius tried to <laughs> flick it above the goalkeeper, but yeah, that was a bit too ambitious. Carlos just Cautious with uh, Militao, understandably so. We we don't want uh, no relapse like we got with Thibaut. True, very true. Um, but at the same time, if if it's gonna happen, it'll probably happen anyway with Militao. No matter if you play ten or twenty minutes. Is is. It's just the way it is with him, I swear. And I remember in 2022, every game he was on the floor. And no one noticed. Vinicius does amazing to dribble around three players, but just couldn't pick, pick the target there. Composed save from Rajkovic, though. Oh, Lunin almost lost the ball from the player, but thankfully, was that a foul on Lunin? It wasn't a foul on Lunin. He, I, he actually just made the mistake there. Ooh, that would have caused some drama. But that was entirely on Lunin. Entirely on Lunin. Thankfully, it wasn't a goal. Uh, the MVP of the match was given to Germany, who scored the, the only game, uh, the only goal of the game. Like I said <laughs> multiple times before the game, let's expect a 1 0. You know, not not a three nil. 
But yeah, uh, that ACL ain't no joke. Uh, oh well, didn't score three three goals like I was hoping for, but uh, a win is a win, a la Madrid. Yeah, three points is three points currently until uh well barcelona played the game tonight we are i think 11 points ahead uh but barcelona has a, a game in hand so yeah yeah it is it, 11 points above Barcelona but they have a, a game in hand until t tonight so we'll see who wins tonight we'll see what happens uh currently we sit comfortably in first place so um I'm very disappointed that Valverde played the full 90 minutes plus extra time um I have no words for that uh, Militao got only like two minutes that's not enough um, I hope he doesn't play against City that would be that would just be insane from uh, Carlo um, but you know I wouldn't I also wouldn't be surprised with them but yeah one nil uh, oh, a win is a win kind of expected that it will go this way they they play like this uh, with barcelona also most of their games end uh, with uh, one nil 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 one one that's mostly how they uh, go um so yeah a win is a win three points is three points we are comfortably in first place uh so nothing really to complain about with that you, you you will probably hear a lot of complaining if you if you uh stay and check out the post-match analysis that uh, the other hosts will be uh hosting in about 30 minutes i think um so yeah check that out uh, check out the next watch along i'll be doing them uh for every match for the rest of the season the next one is on wednesday against the city huge game it's champions league so yeah uh tune in for that um uh, until then um ooh, until then uh have a nice evening and goodbye